Hello, today I'm going to be talking about two different customizations you can do to your electric eel wheel mini when you get it if you want to to you know just customize it a bit make it a little bit better uh, so the first one is going to be this switch that actually reverses the direction of the flyer so we've got the flyer going in one direction and if I flip the switch it switches directions so that's pretty nice the reason I didn't include this is it would have significantly increased the cost of the mini to add something like this but it is something that's not too hard to add yourself after you get it uh, what you need to be able to do is I used a quarter inch drill to drill a hole in the side and um, the size of the hole is going to depend on the switch I'll, I'll link in the switch that I'm using here but any switch that is a DPDT so that's a double pull double throw switch will work and I, I've got a diagram that sort of explains this better in a little bit but you'll need the switch and then you'll need some wire and some solder so soldering if you're not um, much of a solderer then this is going to be hard because you need to be able to solder maybe you'll have a friend or something that can solder and I have a diagram that shows exactly how the wires get soldered in there but that's basically what it looks like and um, like I showed you're spinning you flip it so it allows you to switch directions for plying. Now, everybody will be getting the band um, that lets you sort of do that figure eight that I showed in the Kickstarter video uh, to do plying. So this is just something that adds a little bit of convenience. You know, if you've got um, the ability or someone of your, one of your friends does um, to solder and you want to add something like this, you know, I'm just showing you how you could do it. It's not really necessary. And let's see. Here's the diagram of, of what's happening. So it's a DPDT switch. And if you search for that, like on Amazon, um, it'll give you lots of options. And basically what it is, is it's two switches inside of the switch that um, flip at the same time. And, and that's sort of what you uh, need to have in order to um, reverse the direction. So what's basically happening is you have the red wire connected from the circuit board to the motor and the black wire connected from the motor to the circuit board. And then when you flip the switch, I have these things, these extra wires that are sort of um, swapping the direction of them um, so that you, you basically have red going to the black and black going to the red. And that's what switches the motor direction uh, with this switch. And then this bottom diagram basically uh, just shows what it actually looks like at the switch. So um, you're going to, when you get one of these switches, they're going to have um, two columns and three rows of terminals. And you'll want to correct, connect uh, a red wire and a black wire from the circuit board to these middle two. And then you'll want to connect the motor red wire to one of the top terminals and a motor black wire to one of the top terminals and then you basically are just connecting wires diagonally to these other terminals and that's pretty much all you have to do in order to sort of switch the directions like I showed in the um, I showed right here right you just running you flip the switch and it switches direction so it's pretty nice it's a little bit easier than um, doing the figure eight with the belt but it's uh, certainly not necessary. And then the second thing I wanted to talk about is um, it's, it's designed to be light to make shipping costs cheaper. Um, but you, uh, if you add weight to it, that'll add um, sturdiness um, and reduce the likelihood of sliding. And I found um, these things on Amazon, these are wheel weights. And normally you'd stick these in your, your rims to sort of balance out your wheel, but they actually work really well um, for weighting down an electric eel wheel. So if you just remove the backing uh, and then kind of break them into pieces that fit in here, you can then just sort of stick them. And you'd want to stick quite a few in there, but after sticking a bunch of them in there, it's going to weigh down the wheel. And 
Um, you put enough of them in there and you probably won't need the book. If you just set it on sort of a high friction pad, um, this will end up with enough weight so that it won't slide around and stuff. So if, if you don't like the idea of having to carry around sort of that book that I showed um, being rubber banded on, you can add weights like this and that's a convenient way of sort of hiding um, the weights and but it still adds uh, what you need to sort of weigh the thing down so it won't slide around as easily. So those are the two uh, improvements I, I wanted to offer up uh, to people to you know make their mini spinning wheels a little bit better. If people have other ideas, uh, definitely post things in the comments and it, you know maybe I'll end up doing a video about uh, one of your ideas in a, a future video. Thanks for watching.